With recent talks and peering eyes that have glanced over Black Desert, a lot of people are taking a look back at this title, from players returning and new players also wondering if Black Desert is worth the play. And in this video, I'm going to try to keep things to the point while giving you all the details you need to know to help you decide if you want to give this game another go or a first time try for yourself. First off, there were recent announcements made in the game that any new or returning player will absolutely want to take advantage of, and I will talk about that shortly, so do stay tuned. But before I give you my opinion and take on Black Desert's current state and talk about some of its existing content, let me first talk about my background as a player in this title. So let's first talk about my experience in BDO to give you an idea where this opinion is coming from. I've had my own love-hate relationship under this title for a long time, been there for nearly all of Black Desert's ups and downs and my own cups of drama as well. I've invested tens of thousands of hours in this game from being in the deep end game to also exploding my entire account and starting on things again. And while I've also admittedly spent quite a bit of money on my main account, I've also taken on another challenge and account and I've invested a solid chunk of time into under a 100% free to play perspective. So all in all, I've had a wide range of experience under this title, and I do think that that does hold some value when talking about this title. So I'm not gonna hold back on some things in my opinion that I feel like are worthwhile mentioning, both good and bad. But overall, I'm happy to start off by saying there are a lot more good things going on in this game over bad. And do keep in mind that this video is not sponsored. These opinions shape and develop are my own. Now, if you do find yourself playing the game after watching this video, then do please consider using my creator code in the item shop if you by chance pick up anything from there. It supports the content that I make overall and costs nothing extra for you to do so. So thanks to those who do punch in my code if you do get anything from the game. With a lot of changes over the last two years, ever since Pearl Abyss has taken over publishing rights from Kakao Games, the updates that are occurring now and also very soon definitely has caught the attention recently of a lot of players in the MMO genre. But with the game being released for quite a few years now, returning players might be concerned that it's the same game with the same reasons that they may have left. But one thing that hasn't changed, and in my opinion has vastly improved as well, is their incredible combat system that has caught the attention from people right off of the cuff. With stunning graphics and complete fluidity between a character's entire skill roster, Black Desert's combat system has always stood out the most in my opinion in the MMO genre, and still to this day there is no MMO that is released that has matched its combat system. But overall, Black Desert is much less daunting these days, with very realistic quality of life changes being added and still added on a very regular basis, genuinely making it an entirely different game from its original release date, so much so that I think there are a few things worth mentioning to help you decide if the game seems overall worthwhile playing or not. Now let's talk about a very important piece of this game, which is the game's progression. In short, Black Desert has always been a game where you focus on your character's overall gear progression. You can focus one of two different departments of gear, both combat and life skilling, or even both at the same time if you choose. But the later game progression for upgrading this gear has always become more and more daunting, so much so that it's remained very unrealistic for casual players to progress further into the deep end game. But these days, it's quite the opposite, where the progression now is beyond much more approachable, making your gear progression and the time you put towards your account not feeling like it needs to be a second job. The game being very based around the money that you make in-game per hour, that money that you now make per hour these days is absolutely night and day in comparison to what it was before, where mid-game progression into the end game is at an incredibly faster pace, genuinely making the new and returning player experience feel at a pace I think that anyone would enjoy over what it used to be years ago. Some of those important things I mentioned earlier would even be with the recent announcements for more grind spots, more events, more boss hunting, drastically improving life skilling, PvP game modes that are actually good, more five-man dungeons, all the way to giving players a free dream horse with in-game codes that have bundles and free login rewards that add up to hundreds of dollars invested in your account. At this point, if you are considering playing or returning, absolutely take advantage of these codes and rewards during this time. We've not seen rewards quite like this before. And not to mention Black Desert Seasons. The season allows a player to make a seasonal character that gets placed on a server that puts them in the fast lane for progression. 
So for new players, it's a huge leap into the mid-game content of Black Desert. For veteran players, it's extra rewards that you can use for your current progression. But again, for new players, it's an absolute must-do, and the seasons will rush you past to the point of what early soft cap used to be. The enhancing in Black Desert has always been an unforgiving experience, but with the amount of money that players can make in-game per hour, it truly does take a dramatic less amount of time to progress in this game, making those enhancements happen honestly at a much faster pace. But better yet, if you were sick of the enhancing system altogether, you can skip enhancing entirely altogether and just buy your upgrades from the marketplace from players who have already made them. You can comfortably buy all of your character's upgrades and guarantee your progression this way, which is actually the much more efficient way to progress in BDO these days. They've also added a crystal preset system, which was needed ages ago, and this has been an incredible change worth mentioning on top of their artifact system, which essentially is additional crystal slots, but allows you to create various sets and give you further bonus statistics. Your artifacts are also swappable, as well as your crystal preset, which allows you to fluctuate between a variety of different sets, and having set gear is also viable in the current condition of BDO, if that is something that catches your interest. It's also gotten so good down to the point of also some quests giving players free pieces of pen boss gear, aka free endgame items that you actually will need and use. Around the world, they've also added a very convenient fast travel system, making traveling around Black Desert's massive world much less time consuming, something they never originally had before, but with this recently being added, it has been a massive quality of life addition, especially for new players. And included in the time it also takes to travel and progress, overall BDO has done a tremendously better job rewarding players for their time spent in the game and also doing a good job respecting your time. With grind spots having random minigame occurrences, random boss spawns that occur that you can hunt, random events and occurrences, there is a lot more engagement even in some of the areas where you will spend more time. There's a lot more visual eye candy happening, as I like to say. And of course, you have your world bosses, field bosses, and other random worldly events. BDO has a very active world and community with lots of guild communities and a lively PvP scene from both small scale and large scale. New Boss Rush Blitz mode is a really unique game mode that allows you to choose a variety of different difficulty tiers. And this boss hunting game mode only uses 10% of your account's gear, meaning that really anyone can start off this content at any point into the game, offering a different tier of difficulties that give players a different layer of challenges. And this game mode has honestly been a lot of fun. And with this content being recently added as well, we're also still seeing more bosses being added into this. Boss Rush Blitz mode, in my opinion, has been a lot of fun, and I do hope they keep building off content like this. And also to further mention, they've also added some dungeons into the game, where we have currently seen three out of four planned dungeons. I won't be surprised if we do see more in the future, but right now we absolutely can anticipate seeing another one. These five-man dungeons are what you'd expect, run through a variety of tasks to complete with your team, and ultimately at the end, defeating a boss with a few specific mechanics to follow. Overall, I do think these dungeons are pretty great, pretty clean. I have a lot of fun with them, running through them with my friends, but I do think the reward system that comes out of it is absolutely to a BDO fashion, and I do think they've done a good job with that. Both the Boss Rush Blitz and this dungeon type content in BDO is something we haven't seen before in the past, and I do think this additional content being added to the game has been a very positive addition. The amount of quality of life changes to make mention of is almost staggering because I will genuinely forget something, so please feel free to add your favorite changes down in the comments section below, and do take a read at the comments for more details that I know people are going to share. My favorite quality of life change personally is the loot scroll gauge. You can now turn on and off your loot buffs while grinding, something we were never able to do for a long time, and now that we can, it is a fantastic change. Other quality of life changes that you may also like, again, is the fact that you don't have to enhance gear, you can buy it. There is a variety, a plethora of different grind spots. The in-game currency silver also has no more weight, it's weightless. On top of there being a fast travel system, there is also a global storage system. You can access all the town storages through the access of one storage, so long as you complete a particular quest. That's very easy to do. There are quests in the game that give away pets and other items that can come from the cash shop. You can buy a wide variety of items off of the cash shop, including your costumes. There are tons of codes and goodies being handed out to players on a regular basis. 
are also additional quests and adventure journals that you can do to get yourself additional statistics on top of a wide variety of other communal tools that you can use these days to really tap into more information that the community has to provide, such as the Garmoth.com website, a fantastic tool that you can use to track your grind spots and so many other things from planning your gear build to tracking the marketplace through the website as well. So if you're looking for particular items, it's really, really great. The tools that are also out for players are really, really cool. But the game genuinely holds strong as the friendliest as I've ever seen it for new players. So the question that people ask is, is it a bad time to start as a new player in BDO without being in this game for so long? My answer is honestly, absolutely not. In fact, it's actually the best time to start, but I'll make some mention on issues in a bit that maybe you'll also want to consider. With many good things to share and tell also come with cons that I will make mention of, but again, this is my personal list and my personal list has genuinely shortened a dramatic amount over time over the course of the changes that have happened to this title. So it depends on what your take on pay to win is. The game still definitely has existing microtransactions. So I'm gonna make mention of this first, Although I do truly believe that you don't have to spend a dollar on this game to have fun or even see if it's something that you'd want to invest money into. So if it's something that you can see past, I do think you will truly learn that you don't have to spend money to enjoy this title if you do not want to. There's still obvious conveniences in this game that are beneficial to have, but also having played a free-to-play account with a free-to-play perspective, I genuinely think that you do not need to spend money to enjoy this title, which I'll go over some of those differences in a later video. The game still is incredibly grindy. The game has always been a marathon in the geared progression department, but that's kind of what MMOs are, a marathon. There's still a lot of repetition in BDO's grind overall, but in turn, it also has a vast variety of things to do and much more things to do these days. Focusing on a wide variety of grind spots to be in, BDO's combat system is still next to no other MMO that I've played. So if you enjoy the combat system and being present in the game and you can spend long periods of time enjoying that combat or life skilling, etc., I think you'll be able to see past the time that it takes. And do again, remember, the progression in BDO is at a much faster pace, but you will still find yourself doing similar things in your progression. <laughs> <laughs> Enhancing system still is truly incredibly unforgiving. If you decide to take that route, it's a gamble and it always will be gambling as far as I see. So if you decide to take your chances in that department, good luck. But understand that in order to avoid this pain altogether, you can just buy items off the marketplace. But if you want to see just how unforgiving these enhancements can be, then take it from my own personal experience where I have blown massive chunks of my account to gain absolutely nothing from it. So again, the issue is completely avoidable. And I do recommend checking out these particular videos if you really want to see what bad enhancing looks like. While I will make mention that later game PvP comes with gear progression, it's off-putting for some people because there are basic entry numbers into certain tiers of large-scale PvP that you need to achieve. The more balanced PvP game mode comes from BDO's Arena of Solaire, the 3v3 arena game mode that you have almost immediate access into when starting the game, which also requires no gear and puts you into a gear balanced PvP game mode. Nowadays, I do find that to be incredibly more beneficial with having that access into the PvP scene instead of months down the road after you've boosted and juiced your account to acquire gear to then start getting your foot in the door. There are also lower tiers of node wars and large scale that you can get into. It does require a little bit of time to set up. It takes a little bit to get into the large scale scene. However, you do have immediate access into PvP game modes that I do find to be incredibly beneficial in understanding the PvP scene in this game. But again, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword. And last thing I will say, while this game has made vast improvements, I do still think that Black Desert does a bad job leading new players on what to do next. Though there is much more information and guides available now, BDO still does a good job at overwhelming new players who step into the game for the first time and want to learn as much as they can. I feel that BDO still hasn't really figured out how to introduce all of its more meaningful content and strategies that players would want to learn and focus on, but thanks to Black Desert's community, they've done a great job getting information that you need to know out into the public eye from videos, as well as Discord communities that have deep roots across all topics of this game.
So while these issues that I personally mentioned are based on my own personal opinion, with the updates that have come to the game, I will say the developers as well as its community have done a great job overall introducing content and important information that targets everyone while still having its original existing progressive gear grind. I'm sure there may be a few things worthwhile mentioning that I potentially have missed, so please do feel free to share your thoughts with consideration in the comment section down below. And for those still trying to come to a decision, consider taking a look at these comments. I'm sure there will be a lot of extended opinions shared down below, so do take a look. But in my own personal conclusion, is BDO worth playing as a new player or even returning to? And my answer overall is yes. If you made it this far into the video, you've listened to everything that I've made mention to with no issue and are just looking to hear it from me at this point, then yes, BDO is in such a wonderfully enjoyable state as someone who has both loved and hated this game at different points in its state. Some of these changes have me excited as a player and as a creator under this title. So overall, once again, yes, I do think BDO is in an unrecognizable state in the best of ways. And I do think that a BDO was currently unknown in the gaming community and was releasing as a new game in the current state that it's in. I do think it would be a genuine force to be reckoned with in the MMO genre. It's become incredibly polished and much more considerate of its player base alongside having much more respect for people's time and the time that they have available in their busy lives to play this game. So at this point, if you're considering giving it a go, have fun and good luck. And also considering subscribing to my channel if you want to see a plentiful amount of video content from myself or if you'd like to learn more about this game. I also stream regularly on Twitch, so do feel free to stop by with any questions you may have. I'm happy to help and answer. And again, if you guys do ever play BDO and purchase anything from their cash shop, then do please consider using my creator code, OOK. For no additional cost to your in-game purchases, you will be helping support me directly and the content that I make. So thank you to anyone who does use that and thank you for supporting my content. Black Desert has genuinely come a long way and it's incredibly satisfying to give an update like this on the game's condition as someone who deeply does love this title. I'm very relieved to report the condition that it's currently in, but don't let me tell you, Hop back on, give it a go for yourself and see if it finally scratches that itch that you have for your MMO needs or if BDO's current condition meets your returning expectations. From here, I hope that my take on Black Desert's current state has been helpful towards your curiosity around it and if this title is something that you want to invest your own time into. So for some, farewell. For others, I'll see you in game. And for the rest, I'll see you next time.